Yeah, hi, Trey. It's not a huge amount of news for us to sink our teeth into as we prepare for the Asia Open. Um, obviously, markets in a bit of a holding pattern ahead of the US CPI numbers on, on Thursday, and we know there's a huge amount of takedown uh, in terms of government issuance, uh, Treasury issuance coming through this week, starting tonight with a $42 billion three-year Treasury auction playing through. Now, what have we seen on the floors today? Uh, we start on the Treasury side of things, because obviously that's been the big talking point of late. We've seen a, a renewed sell-off playing through. It's not been prolific, but I, guess, I don't think we've really had the, the news to drive uh, on the day. Now, 10-year Treasuries have closed up six basis points at 409. At one stage, we got to about 411 in yield, which is about 50% of, of the range that we saw on Friday. We've still got our eyes firmly where we can push back into sort of 420 uh, in the 10-year. 30-year uh, Treasuries uh, have sold off. We are, we've seen them higher on the day, but yeah, closing at 426. And ultimately, you've seen that, that bear steepening resume once again. Two's tens up, up about five basis points into negative 68 basis points. No real moves in rates. You know, we're still pricing about a 36% chance of a, of a November, November hike. And obviously, that's something we watch as we go into that CPI number throughout the week. Now, equity markets are looking quite good at the moment. Yeah, we've seen the S&P close up 90 basis points. If you look at price action on an intraday basis, we closed pretty much the highs of the day. 81% of stocks were higher. Uh, so good participation playing through. It was really only the utility sector that was down on the day, but yeah, consumer services, financials, industrials, putting in some points there and, and, and where's, where the outperformance has played. You've seen the Dow also working quite nicely, that market up 1.2%. Now, volatility has subsided a bit. You've seen a little bit of uh, vol sellers and the VIX has pushed down a little bit on the day there. Volumes on the market were a little bit light, uh, about 12% below expect or below the 30-day average. In terms of effects markets, we've got the US dollar pretty much unchanged. Uh, we've got Euro dollar trading a range of 110.19, 109.65, so about 53-point range on the day. Good buyers coming through in the pound. We've seen some repositioning playing through there. Pound's been your outperformer in G10. Uh, the Kiwi dollar's done quite well on the day as well. Um, now, looking ahead, uh, we are watching the US Treasury uh, three-year auction. We'll see if that has good takedown. Uh, but of course, you've got the, the NAB and West Big, Westpac business confidence numbers as well. In Japan, you've got the uh, cash earnings playing through and also China trade balance. The opening calls at this stage are a little bit mixed. We're calling the ASX in Japan higher, uh, but we're expecting uh, underperformance from China. See you then. Thank you.